Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number two. And in this tutorial, we are finally going to start writing a little bit of PHP code, but there are a few things that we have to just make sure are working first. So the first thing we're going to do is save a PHP file. Now we have to save these PHP files in the correct place. So if you watch the previous tutorial, I told you that uh, you need to go to your computer and check at your C drive, okay? There's a folder there called XM, okay? In that folder, there's another folder called htdocs. Now, htdocs is the root directory for our web server that we have now turned our computer into. So, over here is where all of our PHP files have to go. Now, to keep things tidy, I told you guys to make a folder called Tutorials. And if you guys don't have this folder, then you need to go ahead and make it um, because I made mine. It wasn't here by default. And as you can see, there's nothing there right now. So let's go ahead and actually save a PHP file there. So I'm, I've got Notepad++ open and uh, there's a new document here. So let's go ahead and just save this. Uh, basically exactly why I told you guys to save it. So on the C drive, XAMPP, htdocs, and we're gonna save it in this folder called tutorials. So I'm gonna save mine as index.php. And if you wanna be sure that it's named correctly or saves correctly, Go ahead and uh, look for the PHP file name over here. Okay, I'm, I'm aware that you guys probably can't see that on your screen, so it's somewhere over there, but here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just click save. And now you can see we've got a PHP file saved on our computer. Okay, if we go back here to uh, this document or this folder, we can see that there is our index.php file. Okay. Now, if you guys don't save your file in the right place, then this isn't going to work. So just make sure that you save it in the right place. Okay. So now that we have our PHP file, we can finally start writing some code. Now, if you guys are familiar with uh, HTML, and hopefully you are, otherwise you're gonna be completely lost in the series, then you will know that everything was written in tags. So we basically had uh, like HTML tags like that uh, to start and end our documents, okay? Now PHP has something kind of similar. We have to write our PHP inside of some special PHP tags and those tags look like this, okay? So it's still the smaller than and greater than sign, but inside here, we actually use two little question marks, okay? And the top tag, uh, you write the word PHP, okay? So this or these are our PHP tags, okay? That's the opening tag and that's the closing tag. So inside here is where our code will go, okay? So now that we have a PHP file on our computer, let's try and test that everything is working correctly. So what you guys need to do is inside of these tags, type the function PHP info and uh, put in the two brackets and a semicolon. Now, if you guys don't know what a function is yet, then don't worry, we will get into this later on in the series. But basically what this is going to do is print out all of the information of our PHP installation on our computer. Okay, so go ahead and save this. And then there's one more thing that we have to do. Okay, it's not as simple as a HTML document where we could just go ahead and, you know, run this in Firefox and hey, presto, it works. Okay, one does not simply run a PHP file, okay? Instead, what we have to do is make sure that XAMPP is working. So this is the program I got you guys to install in the last tutorial. 
and make sure that your Apache has been started. So right now it says stop, which means it is started and it's working. Uh, my SQL, we don't really need right now, but I've started mine uh, just out of habit, okay? So instead, what you have to do is go ahead and open up your browser and in your URL, you're gonna have to type the following address, okay? So you're gonna type in the word localhost and then you're gonna type in the word tutorials, okay? Because that's the folder that we saved our file in and go ahead and hit enter. Now you can see we've got this PHP page displayed uh, with the PHP version and everything. So this is our PHP info function that printed all of this stuff out, okay? So that's what PHP info does, this function over here. It makes this thing print out. Now, the other alternative is instead of typing localhost, you could type the address 127.0.0.1. Okay, and that basically means localhost. So if we go ahead and type in the word tutorials after that, we come to the same page. Okay, and the reason for that is because localhost and 127.0.0.1, they basically mean the same thing. But I basically prefer to type the word localhost. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that if we hadn't made a new folder over here, and uh, instead if we saved it directly in this htdocs folder, as another file so let's go ahead and just um, I'll save it as fizz.php okay yes that's fine then to get to this page all I'd have to do in the browser is type in localhost and then fizz.php okay and now I've actually reached that PHP file, but right now it's blank, okay? Now that is because htdocs is the root directory, okay? And if we wanna go one folder further than htdocs, we have to type that folder's name in the URL, which is why uh, we typed in the word tutorials, okay? And what we're actually doing when we type in tutorials we're going to a file called index.php, which is what I saved it as. So that's just the way your folder structure is gonna to have to work with XAMPP. I just made the uh, folder, the tutorials folder, because I wanted to keep everything nice and tidy because having a whole bunch of PHP files over here would probably look very untidy. So if it's all under one tutorials folder, it's gonna look a lot neater and that's why I did that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video where we will learn how to print something out in the browser. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.